It's Lakeside Casino and RV Park, where we earn the best ratings for our RV park in North America with the most beautiful scenery and quiet surroundings. Our casino features the best gaming experience, entertainment that'll blow your mind, and come see the great changes in our buffet, all here at the Lakeside Casino and RV Park. And welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for this segment. And this segment, we're going to be talking about our uh, friends uh, out in California, our neighbors in uh, Shoshone. Uh, Susan Sorrell's here once again. We haven't had you on for a long time, so this is a, it's a good treat. Uh, Susan is here to promote something that is called the Old West Days from Shoshone. And this is an annual uh, function that happens in the fall. And how many times does this happen? It was started <laughs> in 1949 by uh, the VFW. Oh, that's when I was born. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it's been a long, long, long ago, yeah. uh, celebration. And it mostly was to celebrate the communities of Shoshone and Tacopa and Death mm -hmm. Valley Junction, and also to celebrate mining and uh, to be a fundraiser for our schools right. and our uh, nonprofit corporation or our nonprofit organizations in the community. And right. that is uh, still today, uh, it's a fundraiser for the Shoshone Museum and the Death Valley Academy. So it's kept that tradition. Right. And then also the uh, Shoshone Dakota Fire Department will be there with a booth. Mm -hmm. So it's a wonderful way to have a lot of fun and to support the local community. So Shoshone is just a uh, hop, skip, and a jump uh, uh, west of us. A lot of you folks know where it is because that's where you get your lotto tickets. <laughs> Charles Brown store. And I'm hoping someone will win out there. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got the crowbar out there. You have the, the Amargosa Conservancy, uh, different places that um, people can go. Do you do any tours out to the, uh, the caves yet? Yes. I, in fact, I do about four to five tours a year. And uh, now we also, a new uh, addition to the town is we have four birding trails. Oh, okay. And uh, we do uh, give some guided tours uh, for the birding, but they're open to birders. Uh, they're very well marked and they go into the Shoshone wetlands. And uh, there's, last year during, during migration, there were over 200 different species mm -hmm. of birds. So, um, I do the tour to Dublin Hills, and I also do a, an Ice Age tour because there's some uh, tracks in the area and also some Ice Age uh, geologic formations. And uh, then we have several different birders that do birding tours. Mm -hmm. So do we have uh, footprints from prehistoric camels, I think it was? And uh, mammoths. Mammoths. And there's, oh, what's his name? I keep forgetting his name. Uh, Milton. There. Milton. <laughs> it's actually, Milton is parts of two or three. Yes. But wait, it's it's that, actually, that's okay. actually, it's Milton and his brothers. Okay. <laughs> and he's, he, uh, we don't want to go why, how they, they got there, but uh, they've been there for a dozen years or more. Uh, the uh, Milton. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, he he and his brothers and sisters. <laughs> so it's a fascinating story. Uh, were excavated by Sonoma State College. Uh, Sonoma State College held the BLM uh, licensing, but it was the students of the college that actually had fundraisers and uh, did the the excavation. And many of us community people were able to join in. And, oh, that was uh, exciting. We had big potlucks. It was just a fabulous time. So there's a lot of prehistoric history that you can see in, in, from the area uh, just by going to the museum. And it's a world-class area for students from universities from around the United States that come out to, to study the uh, topography, the uh, geography, or the geology of yes. the area. And possibly a little bit of the hydrology because you have wetlands there, too. We do. And you wouldn't think of that, just like um, Ash Meadows wetlands over there. You have wetlands over there as you're coming into Shoshone. All of a sudden, if you get your windows open, oh my God, it got cool. <laughs> and it's because of the, the moisture in uh, in the earth. Uh, and it smells there. like willows and and arrowweed. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the Amagosa Conservancy also uh, has their headquarters in Shoshone, but they've done wonderful work in the area. And one of the big things they've done is eradicate tamarisk. Mm -hmm. 
yes. uh, which has allowed the seeps and springs and these beautiful wetlands areas to flourish. And then some of us who uh, own the property, like in Shoshone and China Ranch and Tacopa, uh, we have uh, restored those wetlands with natives. So we do have beautiful now yerba manza, arrowweed, willows, mm. uh, mesquites. Uh, and so it's just, it really is a beautiful place to go. Yeah, that's great. Uh, before we run out of time, let's talk about the festival. <laughs> well, just come on over yeah. and see what you'll, we're doing. And you'll have uh, uh, talks over at the museum also during the We will. The and uh, we also, one of the things that we're going to be doing this year that I'm just so excited about is uh, in coordination with the uh, uh, Death Valley National Park and the opening of their visitor center, mm -hmm. their new visitor center. Uh, we will also have the 20 Mule Team in Shoshone. Oh, that'd be great. And uh, Bobby Tanner, who is a very well-known uh, packer in the Eastern Sierras, will be driving the 20 Mule Team, and he will be doing demonstrations. And we will also have the great group, uh, the Peavine Pickers, will be playing uh, Friday. So uh, there will be a lot of booths opening then, um, uh, demonstration um we're going to have the the uh, Nye County uh, gold diggers okay. uh, are going to be out there, and uh, they'll be doing demonstration gold panning. Um, Donna Lamb, who is the executive director of the Conservancy and also a wonderful, wonderful potter, mm -hmm. uh, will be doing demonstration um, throws, and, and we'll have her wheel out there. So yeah, so she doesn't actually throw it at you. She, she yeah. <laughs> turns her wheel. So you, you see her at our Earth Day events every year also. Yeah. So, we're, so Friday is going to be a, a full day, and also we're having a reception for uh, the Death Valley alumni, and we're giving an award, two awards, to two very um, dear uh, teachers, uh, one Ken Smith, who just recently passed away, and uh, then the other to coach, coach Tulk. And both of these uh, teachers at the Death Valley High School have really been influential in, in many of the students' lives. So uh, that's going to happen Friday. And Friday evening, we'll have uh, Joy Vital, who will be playing in the crowbar. So Friday is going to be jam-packed. Mm -hmm. And Saturday is even going to be better. So come on out and see us. So it's Friday, November 2nd, and Saturday, November 3rd, and Sunday, November 4th. And you're going to have the, let's, what else are you going to have? You're going to have the Arts and Crafts Show at the Flower Building, uh, Peabody Pickers, uh, Crowbar, mm -hmm. um, the Dutch Oven. Are you going to do that or no? Deep uh, Pit Barbecue. Yeah, we'll do. have the Deep Pit. And then also uh, we'll have so many of the Pahrump talent. The uh, Silver Tappers are going to be there. Uh, uh, Jan Jensen is going to be our MC, and she does such a great job. The Jimmy D Band, um, the Airborne Raptors, the Sun Valley Cloggers. We're also going to have the 4-H'ers okay. doing clogging. Um, and then Friday, uh, Saturday night at the Crowbar, we'll have the Drew Baker Band, which plays uh, in on the Strip in Vegas. They're just an unbelievably good band. And uh, Ted Fay. Uh, he's done a lot of videos, uh, the 20, uh, 20 Mule Team film and book signing. He'll be there Friday night at 6 o'clock, too. So that name uh, rings a bell in, in my mind. Uh, he's been around for quite a while and done a lot of video and uh, writing. Well, and at 5, uh, Bobby Tanner, who's an expert on the 20 Mule Team, uh, will give a talk on the 20 Mule Team. Okay. And at 6, Ted will be showing his new film uh, on the okay. 20 Mule Team. So. Oh, okay. It's it's so, going to be a preview, and it's I hear it's just really really great. So that's from four to seven that even show uh, the Shoshone Museum reception and history talks, uh, from, uh, and then five o'clock Bob Tanner that's going to be at the museum. We'll be at the museum, Inside, yes. And then six o'clock Ted Fay, and that all will be happening happening Friday November second. Yeah. And seven o'clock will be Joy Vitel also from Vegas, uh, will be playing in the Crowbar. Ah, okay. Inside or outside? He'll probably be, be, depends on the weather. Weather, yeah. <laughs> the weather should be nice. Though. But we will have fire pits outside, and it just is usually lovely. Mm -hmm. But uh, So that'll be a great weekend. That's coming up very shortly. And uh, so you have you can go out there for, or the, for the, the tours of the area. They'll be coming up. We'll do another show on that. And 
uh, with Amargosa Conservancy. That'll be in conjunction with that. The birding tours. You have the fantastic food at the crowbar. Um, you make your own French fries there? We make our own French fries. We make our own uh, chips and salsa. Oh, um, okay. Our nachos are to die for. Uh, <laughs> all, everything is homemade. Yes, yes. And uh, But this year has been a tradition since uh, 1949. Yes. We'll have the deep pit barbecue okay. where the, uh, where the, the uh, meat is actually roasted in the earth. Um, with um, slow roasted with mesquite and and seasoning so it's just as fabulous so there's booth spaces available for people for that yes and, and that the phone uh, number for that is 760-852-4524 and that would be the Shoshone Museum and Ethel Messer is in charge okay that's great so that'll be coming up on uh, about three weekends from now uh, November 2nd third and fourth and Chad how many minutes do we have left we have three more minutes oh, okay we have did you show the, po the poster for us have we seen that so we'll, we'll show that once again so you see the the lovely poster we have out there for the old west days we have great music deep pit mesquite smoked barbecue the history talks we talked about in, cra uh, in crafts dancing and just having fun with friends fun and old, new and old alike so that's Shoshone, California, the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of uh, November. And the weather should be fantastic for that. Plenty of parking you have. Uh, if you want to stay overnight, you have a, a motel over there. And a, and a very nice RV park with oh, a Warm right. Springs swimming pool. Oh, my gosh, yes. Which is very nice. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, a, f a stay vacation. What do they call that? You, you don't go very far. Uh, you can just head out to Shoshone and just uh, spend uh, uh, a night over there. But there's plenty to do that. You even have an airport out there for crying we out loud. We have it. We have Shoshone International Airport. Yes. <laughs> yes. International Airport. Well, people come from all over. <laughs> and uh, I have a friend of mine uh, that she was here from Switzerland. And I couldn't get her out of the uh, the crowbar. She, she kept meeting, her and her friend kept meeting people that they were hear them talking. And they, oh, that sounds like Swiss. And they start uh, talking to them, and yeah, there's from Switzerland, there's some other people from Switzerland, that was about uh, three or four weeks ago. Oh, that, yeah. It's that was a, so unique. Such a fun place, and we get so many people from Pahrump, and of course, um, the students at one time in Pahrump went to school in Shoshone mm -hmm. at the Death Valley High School, so it's just a really wonderful meeting place for everyone, and much more kickback. Oh, um, my God, yeah. As is Tacopa. It's, mm -hmm. The whole area is a beautiful area. So if you you got some time to relax uh, instead of going to Vegas, uh, head over to Shoshone for the uh, the uh, the old West days, uh, and I know exactly how many years it's been because sixty three years because that's how old I am. <laughs> and uh, this, we're in our last minute. So once again, uh, the number to call again if they want uh, booth space seven six zero eight five two four five two four and ask for Ethel Messer. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to go out to the crowbar, it's usually open till 9 or 9.30 in the evening? 9.30. 9.30. And they're open seven days a week? Seven days a week. And uh, we have the patio with mm. um, fire pits and our beautiful dark skies. Fantastic. And uh, so if you want a, a great uh, day trip or uh, spend an overnighter, you can go out to Shoshone and uh, enjoy that. So uh, thank you once again for coming here, Susan, as always. And we'll have you on talking about uh, some of the, the tours in the fall, possibly. Fall is right around the corner, too. Uh, this is it. So thank you very much. Thank you all. all right. come, come see us. All right.